just a random selfie stick for Willow to chase. You ready? I'm very dizzy now. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Magnolia State. I'm Brandon, and this is my English lab, Willow. Come along for some of the week's highlights. Good morning. This week ended up being a bit of an off week, but I'll talk about that a little later in the video. I leashed Willow to start this walk because there were a bunch of early birds out there with us on this day. But it came off as soon as we were in the clear. Okay, free. We got in a new camera harness this week that lets me put Willow's camera either on her chest or on her back. The chest cam gets a bit shaky, so I do apologize. But right off the bat, we had a chance to do some training that I got on camera right here. Let's do some leash walking. You ready? Hmm? You ready? All right, heel. There were a couple of ladies walking towards us on this day, so I leashed Willow and did a little loose leash and impulse control combo training. Again, my apologies about the shaky cam, but as you can see, Willow does a pretty good job at staying right behind my leg and lets these ladies pass without a problem. Willow, right? Since she's already on leash, I thought it might be a good opportunity yes. to work on left and right side positioning. Heel. Willow, heel. Yeah, good girl. You'd be surprised good how girl. handy this comes in. Oh, that's a good girl, yes. That was an auto stop that she gave me. Okay, free. And she's back off. I mentioned that new camera harness we got this week, and this is what it looks like when the camera is on the top position on Willow's back. <sighs> Look at that tighter. On a lap, it just ends up being cuteness overload with all the ear flopping. How's that feeling, huh? Doesn't even notice. Don't even notice it, do you? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You wanna go sniff? You're free. Oh, you wanna play the ball? You wanna play with the ball? Okay, let's see how it holds up. You ready? All right, heel. That's not heel. Yeah, okay. Ready? Leave it. Release. Willow, heel. I said earlier that we had an off week, and right here you're about to see a bit of that disconnect we had this week. And you found a stick. It's small, but instead of coming to a heel, she just doesn't. I know that seems small, but you get to know your dog when you spend a lot of time with them. This week she was just distracted, and honestly, so was I. My job had me working on something that took all the creative energy I had, so maybe it was my job, or maybe it was the way the weather went from sunny and warm to cold and raining, but this week she definitely fed off my energy, and we just weren't in sync. Tell you what, one of the biggest things I've learned since having her, and I know it sounds weird, but dogs, no matter how much you train them, are not robots. Yeah. Good girl. Here. Uh-oh. Did we lose it? There it is. They're not robots. They are animals. They are living beings that have a mind of their own, that want to do stuff, that don't want to do stuff, that have good days, that have bad days, that have preferences and kinds of grass they like to eat. They're not robots. So an expectation of them to be a robot is not the best mindset to have, especially for a lab. Nope. There's all her favorite grass right there. God's gift to Willow. Oh, passing it up, huh? Sometimes when I'm not feeling excited about the week, I'll, I'll okay. go grab a pour over and some breakfast at a local coffee shop. Yeah. But even here, I just didn't do a great job of setting Willow up for success on this day. 
I always okay. have her wait at any threshold, but once I let her cross this one, I wasn't thinking and let her head straight towards this other customer. I should have put myself between her and this guy. Now, Willow is not going to do anything wrong. Her tail was wagging as hard as it possibly could because she just wanted to greet the guy. But I don't allow her to greet people we don't know when we're out. Especially for a lab, if she thinks she can greet anybody, she will. We recovered, but down. as you can see here, she doesn't go down on my first command. Look down. And by the way, my hat is positioned. You can tell I just want some coffee. Leave it. Look, I know, I can't forget. Success with a dog is relative. Or at least, all right. Having her stay calm and in this down position the entire time is success for how I want her trained. There she goes, shaking off all that energy it took her to stay still, down, okay. and calm the entire time we were there. I've seen service dog trainers say they don't let their dogs shake off until they get outside. That's oh, a whole other level of training that's interesting to me, but maybe a bit unnecessary for what I'm going for. I'm kind of having an off week a little bit. We're kind of having a little bit of an off week, aren't we? We're gonna head back to the house, and because I'm a bit of an overachiever, we're gonna do a small back to the basics training session. All right, let's try it here. Even here though, we're out of sync. She's not here. sure what I want from her, even though here. we don't usually have communication problems about well, where I want her to be. Yeah, sit. Now she's got it, I want her in front of me. Uh, right. When we go back to the basics, I'll create boundaries that she has to fit into yes. when we work on right. obedience. Good little heel. The trailer we're next to forces her to get into the yes. position that Willow. I want her in. Well, right. Yes. Willow in. Willow heel. Out of sync. See, she went to the right instead of the left. Yes. Willow, right? Willow, middle? Good girl. And then I don't even think about how her camera won't fit when I call her into that position. Willow, down? Good girl. Let's end this session with something fun. Up. Spin. Yes. Up. So the wife has told me that I'm required to get all the dog hair cleaned up out of this vehicle before she needs to use it later. You might can see a lot of that. But if you own a lab, or any dog, but definitely a lab, you're gonna have a lot of hair. And luckily this is not shedding season right now. However, I gotta clean it. Here's what it's like having a lab. This is clean. Check this out. Gross. Here's a secret. If it smells good, sometimes you don't see the fur. I think Tacomas and labs are a lot alike. You can depend on them for a long time. They're a lot of fun. They look best in black. And they both have a lot of hair in them. I gotta get this. She's gonna be mad at me. 
Guys, I know one man's trash is another man's treasure, so my off week with Willow is another person's dream scenario with their dog. It's not lost on me that I get to spend every day with this amazing canine. Willow, let's, let's stop. Sit. Sit. And even when we get out of sync, like we are right here, she's still an amazing dog, a fantastic pet, and just the cutest black lab I've ever seen. Thanks for watching. I hope observing Willow gives you some ideas of how to enjoy some time with your dog. Subscribe if you like watching a good girl do good things, and we'll see you on the next one.